This did you do it? It's November 28th, 2018, 9.09 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I've got you looking at a video called Paradise Lost Number 15, Incredible Aerial Footage, More Proof This Was Not a Forest Fire by a Plaintruth.info. He's excellent. He's one of my favorites. Um, but the only way I'm the best way I can show you what I saw in his video, which he didn't say anything about, is it's at 439, and it only lasts for about one or two frames. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit play, but I'm gonna show you what I saw, and then I'll show you his version or his video. Wait a minute. See that? See that? See that? See that? Okay, that's the best thing I could do is show you that way first. Now I'm going to show you his video in regular speed, we'll call it. I don't know if you could hear him talking or not. Let me turn that down a little bit. I don't know if you could hear that. That's pretty loud. Here we go. Now it's coming up at 4.30. What did I say? 4.30. 31 Let's see uh, here it comes see that holy shit what was that huh huh it's just strange Almost like it starts up in this area and works its way down. Let's try that a couple more times. 436. Oops. Huh. Almost like a flamethrower. It goes by pretty quick. Watch. There it is. See it? Holy shit. I think we caught something there. We busted their, we busted their ass. Watch. Look at that. What would, call, what would cause something like that? Alright. I'm going to have to uh, I'm gonna stop that right there. And that's at about 4.39 into his video. Because I want to take you back over here. This is kind of important here. I'll take you back over. Mike Morales had a video out uh, warning us about the uh, possibility of uh, directed energy weapons being used in Texas and Florida. I just was exploring that, and I'm in. Uh, I'm over at the College of DuPage. And this this happens to be the natural color, 200 frames. I got it set on, and uh, I'm in the sub uh, in the localized sector. Okay, there's uh, this corner of Texas there, and I'm gonna. What I'm looking at is these two hot spots right here, and there's a couple more around it. Okay. Right there and there. It seems to... Uh, I'm going to go back as far as this will go. 16.66 hours. And that represents 28th of November at uh, 0217 UTC is as far back as they'll give us right now. So it was occurring back then. Now I'm going to go to the NT Microphysics 
same localized sector and there's the uh, obfuscation technique or the I don't know that's just what I think let's just zoom in on that there see right there right there now I don't know about these little guys I don't see any kind of signatures underneath them that I'm suspicious about yet but uh, so trying to get an idea on where these are located in case we need to uh, in case no one knows that there's fires out there let's see go to Google Maps and apparently it's north of Crane Texas and south of Odessa maybe and there's that corner let's just see if we can map this out here kind of I know there's a better highly technical way to do it but from here to here it almost looks like uh, Crane and Odessa is the area And there's definitely some hot spots. But this is NT Microphysics. I'm going to go ahead and let that play through. So I can't tell you when the when this all started to show up on the College D page. Because it was there 16.66 hours ago. Since these are 5 minute time increments. And you get 12 for every hour. Which means you, get, you don't get 48 per hour. So I mean really we get such a small percentage of imagery per 16.6 hour session it's not even funny but we got enough here look at that let's zoom in on that that's just uh it's just like in your face okay that's what they're doing it's, it's in our face we just got done talking about the california incident and their shenanigans over there they're murderous heinous clandestine tyrannical acts look at that. i don't know it's just it, Maybe it's just me, but I just think that these are put there. Some someone put them there. Someone told them to put them there, and they're all guilty. That just doesn't happen on its own. Huh? And there's looks like there's other areas where they're obfuscating. So maybe there's going to be a bunch of them starting in Texas. Let's just watch those areas. We'll zoom back out. see where all these little obfuscation dots I'm thinking they're obfuscation areas are cloaking one two three four five now I actually only see signatures of what appears to be some type of occurrence underneath it looks like explosive occurrences or something underneath these blocked out areas and this one has some uh, explosions under it you can see in this one I don't know about this one necessarily I really haven't seen anything there Maybe one or two. Nothing there underneath it. It's not to say they're not trying right now to start these on fire. Okay, there's another bigger one starting. We might see some. So they may be just now in the beginning stages here. Some more happening. Well, let's just see what happens to Texas. And I don't know if they're... Let's see. Let's go back to the uh, natural color. This really doesn't tell us for certain that there's fires there. I guess you'd have to check with the authorities, really. But, I mean, according to this, looks like there's some hotter spots. And they are, you know, they're, uh, they're not maintaining the same heat. There's another third spot up here that looks hot. Let's get this thing going if we can. I'll let it play through. So we can see the... Uh, cloud patterns. This is on uh, Natural Color, College of DuPage. And I owe you guys some links. There's a cloud patterns going by, so I mean the likelihood of it being lightning born, I, don't know, I suppose it's possible. You know, watch. Okay, see it's kind of flashing. And, you know, the intensity increases and decreases. Kind of a low-lying, there's not it's not too mountainous here necessarily. It's a little higher up, but uh, over on Google Maps, the terrain view, I've got it on terrain view, and it's not really showing too much terrain there. The closest mountains are over here, so. It looks like uh, a little north of uh, Crane. I like how when you zoom in, the words get smaller. I love that. Okay, north of Pleasant Farms, possibly. So. What is that stretch of road going on? Looks like, uh, 
I'm going to zoom in on that. See, they get smaller as I zoom in. What's the point of that? That's what I got to do. Uh, north and south on 385. It looks like uh, those fires are in that general vicinity. So let's see what pops up in the news. Well, let's go back over to Google News and refresh it. I know that's not the only news, but that's just the fastest, okay? We can check on Florida later. But, uh, no, nothing on uh, Google News yet. So I'm going to end this video right now. And uh, we're going to have to check on this. Remember, GOES 16, uh, localized or regional sectors, as soon as you hear about a, a, a new uh, breaking news about a fire, go to NT Microphysics, 200 frames, and uh, see if you see any kind of apparent cloaking or shenanigans like this here zoom in one more time because this is just straight up bullshit look at that folks all right let's see if we can let it pass through one more time there they are huh yeah we could all make up our own minds, but I mean, I'm pretty convinced that uh, something's going on. So did you do it? All these chemtrails, too. I forgot to mention those. All right.